Stay true and tuned στο Mix FM. Γιατί αμέσω τώρα ξεκινάει η εκπομπή True Music Vinyl Sessions by Valentine's. Παρέα με τον Mr. Fox. Γεια σα και καλώ ορίσατε ξανά στην εκπομπή μα True Music Vinyl Sessions by Valentine's with Mr. Fox. Ο καλεσμένο μου σήμερα είναι ο Valentin Raif. Ε, φίλος και γνωστός από τη Λεμεσό Είναι ένας από τους entertainment managers στο Columbia Beach Διοργανώνει events, παίζει μουσική Και έφερε κάποιους από τους αγαπημένους του δίσκου σήμερα να μας δείξει Γεια σου Βαλεντίν, how are you buddy? Hi folks, everything alright? Good to have you here with me Good today to I'm looking forward to this little session I know you've brought some really good records with you Hopefully. So yeah, well, I'm sure I've heard some of them already So tell us a bit about the first record that you brought with you It's uh, If you can cue it up also Well, I brought my first choice for today It's a record by Psychomagic Nice which, which is called Feel in Love I don't know if many people know the story with Psychomagic But actually they have lots of unrecognized remixes Mm-hmm which basically means that the artist, they didn't get the rights, the royalty art, um, rights from the artist. So usually they do, they do this. Yes, and they do a lot of edits as well. Yeah, correct. Where they find the rare, like cuts, rare disco tracks, and they kind of, you know, speed it up a bit, slow it down, add a synth, add some percussion, like minimal. I think that's the definition of an edit. Like, correct. Uh, m- you don't do as much as a remix. You do more of an editing on, on on a certain track. Yes. The same with this one. The the artist is actually Paula Cole. Mm-hmm. The the track is very low as 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 tempo as speed, but they increased it maybe with sixty percent. Okay. So it became one of my favorites, to be honest. So it's quite faster than the original. They've made it a bit more groovy for exactly. the dance floor. I think they added a, a different kick to it. Just a, a different kick to it. Yes, to make it a bit more clubby. Yeah. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, okay. check it out. See what it sounds like.
Very, very nice, my friend. Pure disco grooves. Uh, the edit was by Psych Magic, as we mentioned, and the artist that the edit was made from what was Paula Cole. Paula Cole. I've never heard of this specific artist. Apparently, she was kind of big in the 90s, late 80s, or something you, like that. US, yeah. She had some some songs which they were up in the Billboard. So, mm. and I imagine this track makes for a great. Starter, like warming up the the dance floor, right? Correct. Fantastic. Which, which I couldn't buy it or sell it online for three years. Mm. Actually, it was forbidden. Ah, okay, okay, because it's uh, yeah. a bit of on. Uh, yeah. I think it still is. I, I need to check Discogs. I think I think it still is. Cool. <laughs> Does that make it worth more money or less money? I don't know. On Discogs. I don't know. To be honest, I found it in a in a record shop. It must. So it must make it, it a bit yeah, rare, yeah. right? I, I found it in a, in a record shop. It was like 10 euros. I was like, okay. Okay, picked it up. Take it. Cool. Nice. Cheers. All right. So I will continue on a similar vein with what you brought in for us today. The artist is Mr. Pauli, and the EP is Weekend Warrior. The track we will hear is After Our Boogie. And this release is a release by a label, Wrong Era, by a friend who lives in Berlin. He's an Italian DJ, producer, and record label owner called Franz. Uh, incredible DJ and producer. And uh, yeah, the, the label is called Wrong Era because they have a certain sound of Italo disco with a modern touch. So that they kind of believe that they're in the wrong... They are in the wrong, the wrong yes, area. Uh, yes, exactly. So yeah, it's like a bit... Disco, but more on the electronic side, a bit more, a bit more synthy. Bang it on, my friend.
Αυτό ήταν το After Our Bookie του Mr. Pauli. Ραϊφ μου, πε μας, what did you think of that track that I just played for you now? Very funky, very, very funky. For sure in a different era. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are in the wrong era. Yeah, in the wrong, wrong yeah. era. What era should they have been in? I think... 80s, 80s, late 80s. Yep, exactly. Because of the synths and everything, late 80s. It's got that Italo vibe. Yeah. Just like I was saying, but with a, a modern take on it. So yeah, check out nice. Wrong Era, anybody listening out there, and so can you. I right? will, for sure. Fantastic. What's the next record you have queued up to play uh, for us? Actually, many, they th- many people think that he's South African. Mm-hmm. It's Mike Steva. He's actually from Macedonia. Okay. His parents, they moved a long time ago in Australia. Mm-hmm. So he started producing around 2015. Why do people think they're South African if he's in Australia and was born in Macedonia? Like, he doesn't have anything to do with South Africa. Correct. Um, because he has an Australian accent? No, it's no. because his productions, they have lots of African influences. Okay. Drums, percussions mostly. Uh-huh. And he has this kind of deep sound of the, of the African. DJs, mm-hmm. but he incorporates as well Macedonian sounds in them, mm. like and not only sounds but weird instruments, Macedonian like, like a, a bra- folk, brass yeah, stuff. He has two tracks which I've been playing them the last year like crazy. This one, the message, and one which is gonna come in maybe 20 minutes. Uh huh. Cool. <laughs> so Great. I brought two tracks of him. He is one of my favorite newcomers, let's say, okay. since he started releasing from 2015, 16, mm. something, something yeah, there. Yeah, pretty modern, yeah. pretty fresh. So I think Cypriot crowd enjoys it because of the sounds. And this is something that you would play or used to play and hopefully soon again play at your Sunday ethnic sessions. Correct, correct. Because I think it would be very yes, suitable, yes. right? It's one of the standard tracks on that, Sundays. That, that is played. Yeah. Cool. Hit it. Cheers. Let's hear it.
Very, very nice. Once again, uh, some snake charming uh, music for everyone out there. Right? Sounds kind of like that. Yeah. Putting uh, people on the dance floor in a in a mindset, in a trance. You are the shaman, and they are in coming. The, you're following coming out. You. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Awesome. Reminds people again the the artist, the name of that track, if you can, please. Mike Steva, the message. He has a message actually. He he brings everybody out on the dance floor. To be honest. Uh huh. That's the message. Yeah. Huh? Cool. <laughs> Very nice. For me, the next record will be a track from Remy Mazet from his album Safran. This guy is probably my latest favorite discovery. I find this guy amazing. He's an Algerian French guy that used to be a jazzist. So he he's he comes from a background of uh, experimental jazz. I don't know what instruments he plays, but then he got into house music and thought I'm going to make some really good deep house music. The specific track I'm going to play for you guys is called Shrine and it's got a very percussive thing going on so yeah a bit of that kind of African vibe again let's go and check it out yes hit it DJ
like that, yeah. Leif? Yeah. Awesome. Continuing with that percussive, groovy, African vibe. That was uh, continuing on from you. Remy Mazet, for anyone interested. And the track was Shrine. What's uh, next up from you, buddy? I'm going back, back, back in time f to the godfather of house music. Of course, Frankie Knuckles, everybody knows him. Uh -huh. He's the godfather. The name of house music comes from him, actually. Not fr because of him, but also from the club where he was playing, the warehouse mm -hmm. in Chicago. Everybody thinks that the name of house music comes actually from the warehouse, the club which was played. Mm -hmm. Actually, everybody, when they were hearing him or other DJs which got inspired by his type of music how he played it in that period mm -hmm. whenever people were hearing it, it they were saying ah this is a house cut and they they were referring at as a warehouse cut like the DJs which they were playing there from the club warehouse. from the club warehouse which they were cutting their tracks in a certain way and doing a repetitive four beats basically so that's how it became house music. Mm. From it's a house cut, it became house music. Very uh, interesting. Some historic uh, knowledge about house music there. I haven't heard that. And I like to research stuff. And, you know, I know the history of, of a lot of stuff. But I like that. Haven't heard that one before. Mm. So, yeah, very cool piece of info. Thank you. Uh, so, yes, it's Frankie Knuckles. The track is? The Whistle Song, which many would recognize it. Of course. Yeah, and it's, we it's will talk about it after. Super famous track yeah. in the uh, 90s, 90s 91, 92, I think. I think, a lot, I think a lot of people will recognize it, even if they don't know much about house music. Exactly. I mean, it, it's, it was sampled by many, many, many producers. And let's say it went a little bit mainstream as well at the point. Yeah. So let's talk about this after we, cool. we listen to the track. Go ahead and uh, hear it. A song by Frankie Knuckles that I think can be recognizable to a lot of people. Uh, the name of the track is... Uh, 
Fucking out calls in uh, Bucharest. He, I'm sharing this, uh, and, <laughs> and life is staring at me quite <laughs> intensely at the moment. Um, but actually, that not, is not true. In not in Bucharest. In where? Sorry for the mistake. Mamaya, you know the wherever, whoever knows Romania, it's the the festival place, the the seaside where mm. they held they held in holding the sun waves and everything before like 2005 to 2010 there were huge clubs mm. and there was a club called mania which was bringing kind of housey old school djs cool well i thought it was kind of important to mention because as you said he's the godfather of house and it's kind of cool that you did that thank you i've spent like half an hour with him from he was an amazing person honestly. amazing so how? Very sweet, very very sweet, very very friendly, sharing knowledge with everybody. I mean, cool. you know, kind that's, of that's the way to be if yeah. you're an artist, if you're yeah. a DJ, and uh, that's also what we're doing here today, sharing some of our favorite records, uh, knowledge, and music we have gathered throughout the years. So, yeah, hope the people are enjoying that. My next selection is going on similar lines it's not an old track it's a relatively newer release a few years ago i think by ches and trent the piece called the choice and the track i've select selected is the windy city club version so it's kind of a classic house sound continuing on from frankie knuckles okay. so let's go and hear it i think it will be the first vocal track we play today as well it might be
Here again, True Music Vinyl Sessions by Ballantines with me, Mr. Fox. My guest today is Raif, and that was The Choice by Ches and Trent, released by legendary house label KMS. What do you think of that, my friend Raif? It sounds very classic, very, very classic house. Indeed, that was the idea yeah. to continue on from your classic... Frankie Knuckles to another classic house sounding Although track. It's quite new, I think. It right? is. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was released. I'm not sure. I don't want to say exactly because people will be like, ah, no, it was released in ah, one year before that. But so yeah, you know what I mean. It was released a few years ago. It's a great track. I play it a lot. And uh, yeah, where do we go now? Where do we go oh up my now God. from this? I have this vinyl for years. I think a friend of mine made it gave it to me as a present his father had it or something mm. i had it in my collection for many years i never actually had the curiosity of listening to it okay so about maybe one year one year and a half ago at susami was playing with ziggy mm -hmm. our good friend ziggy yep fortunately he is in uk now um so i'm like hmm what's this take it out cue it listen to it this piano hits me i'm like wow wow this deserves cutting the song which is playing, give it a three-second gap, and then start it. Mm. <laughs> and I did a little bit of, uh, of a research about this guy. His name is Eduardo Miliani. Italian, Italian producer. Yeah, Italian. He's not a producer. I did my research. He's a DJ who was playing in the 80s in Italy. Mm -hmm. And he made only this track, which it's... Only this one o track. Only this one track, which it's actually Edward's World. And the name of it, to be honest, always I forget it. So if I'm going to check my notes here, I'm going to tell you the name as well. Go ahead. Go ahead and check it. Uh, let me find it. Because I... Soul Roots. What's it? Soul Roots. Soul Roots. So the roots of the soul. First time when I throwed it, dance floor, dance floor was packed. Everybody went crazy. Everybody went crazy because of the piano. I love, I love a good piano or a good uh, keyboard sound in a track. It's, uh, it's kind of our obsession with Gotcho when we play together as Afrofox. We both know this that we have this obsession and we have to play a good emotional piano theme song. So I'm uh, very much looking forward to hear this. Let's do it.
track that is banging. Wow. I love it. I That's love a special, it. special track. That is a gem right there, my friend. Thanks. I no. mean, I would, uh, I would definitely play that, A. B, I probably will steal it and play it. <laughs> Sample it, do, do whatever you want with it when you're finished with it. Great, great track, my friend. I love that. That's definitely my favorite track of today, I think. Mine and, as well. One of, and possibly one of from all the sessions we've done. <laughs> like, this is a gem. It's a really good track. Unfortunately, he didn't produce anything else. That is so weird. Yeah. That is so strange that you make such a good track and you don't make anything else. I've checked him. I've made some research. I found his website. This guy, he was playing everything. He was playing in discos like discotheques mm -hmm. so he was playing everything R&B house uh, disco funk retro 50s 60s whatever, everything whatever was required yeah, yeah he was he, he was everywhere and I was surprised when I found those things I mean okay his name it's Eduardo so he changed it for this record I think mm. to Edward's World but okay. very 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 nice track I love it very nice very classy so yeah, continuing on, my next track is uh, fro again from an Italian musician. The name is Gino Socio, the track is Dancer, and it's uh, again a very banging track for the dance floor, a lot of funk, a lot of groove, horns coming in, electric guitars, it's, it's quite a track. So let's go ahead and play it and see if you guys enjoy it. There you have it, Gino Socio, the track is Dancer, from the album Outline. You dig, my friend? This is the only record I had with me today that could actually follow that great track that you just played to kind of try and keep things going. But yeah, 
Italian disco from another Italian guy. Very disco. Very Italian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed. So, we will finish our show now with one last track from you. Tell us about the track before we play it. It's called Loose Beat. It's produced by one of my favorite bands from the 90s. Mm -hmm. Actually, Crazy P and Moloko, they had a big impact on on what I love and what I like to listen home. Mm -hmm. So they have a crazy name, Crazy P. Uh, actually, Todd, one of the um, one of the guys from the band, his favorite track at the period when he founded Crazy P it was Loco Chinga. So slowly, slowly after '96, I think they changed it to Crazy P. Mm. Yeah, I know. Why? I don't know why. Maybe they had the aspirations to become bigger and that might they might have felt that that could have possibly been a held back. Maybe. I don't think so because their tracks all of them they I mean so they they're doing productions, they're doing remixes as well. I mean Todd he's doing lots of remixes which they're amazing. Their lead singer, she's amazing. Her voice is whoa. And everything about them. They have acid sounds in, in their productions in, or in their, I don't know, live gigs, whatever they, they, they're doing. Mm -hmm. and they're whoa, whoa, disco, funk, whatever you want. And since you played that disco-ish track, we have to continue with a little bit of disco-ish. I like it. I like it. Fantastic. So it's Crazy P, the name of the track. Loose Beat. Loose it's, Beat. Yeah, they made it with Oliver Dollar as well. Oliver Dollar, one of the Newer guys on on the scene. In 2011, he he got recognized with doing a thing with everybody knows with the groove in it. Mm -hmm. So I think they made actually a pretty groovy song. Together. Awesome. Well, we will leave you with this song as our la last track. We will say good night to everybody also, and uh, check us out next Wednesday at 10 o'clock. For now, I hope you enjoyed. Peace, everybody. Hit it, Raif. Mm -hmm.